Hi everyone, this is Michelle. This is my first ever YouTube video doing tutorial and it will be featured in my www.luckymitch.com. Um, this that website is very helpful in preparing for your CCA exam and don't try to um, you can try to subscribe into that website and also you can try to follow us in Facebook also um, Strawberry Asia we have a website at the same time just log on to www.strawberry.asia to see more of our courses but this one is for free so enjoy enjoy learning <laughs> okay so I'll be teaching today the packet tracer and how to use it actually there are some you know Cisco is upgrading packet tracer from time to time I'm not sure whether like every six months or every three months they try to upgrade a new version of packet tracer so for for this application I recommend this for those who are preparing for the CCNA exam and um, it's very useful and user-friendly okay so for for making a packet tracer file actually you can save it if you haven't you haven't finished it so you just have to go to file and save us and in packet tracer there's some short keys also um, you're not gonna be needing all of this but auto save will be this one actually auto print print will be this one and um, the maxim maximize and minimize and the color of your routers and switches so the most important thing here is the equipments okay so as you can see if I click on the router here this is the logical topology uh, logical representation of a router and if I click on the router it appears to have different types of models so these are all the popular models um, actually it was upgraded um, here in packet tracer we're still using 18421 but now um, Cisco released 19421 so um, it's okay you can still use 18421 in preparing for your exam and 2620, 2621 and you know if you have higher bandwidth you can use 2811 okay so by default in our simulations we try to have three routers and three switches and six pieces okay so in the right hand corner here you can see the maximize but later on we will try to use all of this and first I'll try to use this node so this is a node um, something like if you want to place label on your work so for example we are having a simulation of three routers so I'll just type in here three routers wow it goes to the first line okay so three routers with three switches and um, six PC so this is our scenario after I place that I can drag it here and let's try to have the three routers first so I'll just click on 18421 and drag it here well actually um, Cisco packet tracer if you want to know the version of packet tracer the reason why there's different types of version is because um, actually for for version um, 5.2 it only supports um, web for the Wi-Fi so if you try to simulate on a Wi-Fi site using the um, Wi-Fi N okay the wireless device here links is WRTN so it can only support web for 5.3 it can all it, it can support already the the WPA personal and enterprise so for this one so my three routers are now ready I'll just have to place my uh, three switches so I just click on the switch and um, have different choices here 2950 24 port 2950 T 2960T and generic most of the time we try to use 2960 or 2950 um, 24 port so I'll just try to drag 2960 because this is the latest version okay so after you place the 2960 I have to place my PC so the end devices will be down there um, leftmost so I'll just point to it and then you can place also a laptop and a server but currently we'll just have to use the PC okay so I'm drawing six PC as of the moment by just dragging to it okay after you drag the PC um, let's have let's now start for the 
connections. For the connections, um, there are different types of cables here. It is the automatically choose connection if you're quite lazy to, you know, place um, straight through serial, you know, you, you want to have an auto connection, you just click to this. Um, later on, I'll just show you. And this one is a console cable, straight through, crossover, fiber, phone, coaxial, and serial. Okay, for the serial port, actually for 18421, by default, when I try to, you know, putting it, you'll just have to click to it. And this is the physical device view. So the good thing about Packet Tracer is because it has the device itself and the actual device you can see even though you're not in front of it. So here it has two holes in there in which you need to place serial port, you know, slot 1, slot 2. You'll have to place serial port or Ethernet or fast Ethernet port. Okay, but by default it doesn't have serial port. So when I try to add a serial port, it says it cannot add a module when the power is on. So I'll just have to turn it off and then place this WIC2T. What what does WIC2T means? It's a one interface card. So you need to have a WAN interface card in order for the, your routers to connect to each other via serial port. So I'll just have to turn off first and place the WIC2T and turn on. Okay, now my routers are all ready. Actually for in opening your router you can have you can see the physical view at the same time you can see the CLI so we will not go configure the router because we are now setting up the connections so let's try to connect from router to switch it should be a straight through cable so I'll just have to connect from FA00 to FA01 okay if you're lazy as I told you you can just connect to the auto one here this one okay so I'm quite lazy so I need to use this one <laughs> okay so connecting from router to router all of these are different device right router to switch straight through because different device switch to PC is different device so you need straight through router to router it's a WAN interface so I'll just have to use serial so both serials okay What's the difference between serial DCE and serial DTE? Serial DCE, you need to have a clock rate. By default, in 18421, you need to use 64,000. So I can choose, like, if I choose serial here, the other side will be serial DTE, serial DCE, and DTE. So I'll just have to use the auto so it can choose for me which one is DCE and DTE. The reason why you are able to see the port assignment here is because I did place on my preferences I tick on show port labels so just can tick on it and then it will show okay so how to delete the connection you just have you see this X you can delete okay so you can place again okay and then for the ping test I cannot use this one unless I'll show you once we do the router configuration okay so this is the setup and how to draw a simulation um, scenario on your packet tracer so I hope this is very interesting for you to to see and um, I hope We'll see you again on my next video. That's it. Thank you. Try to visit my website which is www.luckymage.com.